Hello and welcome, today, I am going to walk you, through the basics of SCADA. In this video tutorial, I will show you, what, SCADA can do for you. Let's, start with basics. SCADA stands for, Supervisory Control, and Data Acquisition. A SCADA system, at its most basic, is a software system, that is used for controlling, monitoring, and analyzing, an industrial process. These systems used, in basically every industry, process in the world. SCADA is the, key software element in critical infrastructure control. It is not a specific technology or protocol, but an application, where data is collected from a system, in order to control that system. So, SCADA means itself is a software, which is used to control hardware, which could be anything, like PLCs, drives, servers, and which is also acquiring the data, from this devices. So it is controlling, and acquiring. SCADA is the one wide area network control systems, for dispersed control assets, that need to work together like, oil and gas pipeline, water distribution system. A full scale SCADA system just monitor more stuff, over much greater distances. History of SCADA system SCADA system, grew, out of the telemetry systems developed for the space programs, at that time, everything was analog, not digital, and with the development of microprocessors, and integrated circuits, microprocessor based digital telemetry systems were developed, it could multiplex data, and provide all the information, and at the same time radio telemetry was being used, for supervisory control and data acquisition, and thus the modern SCADA was born. Let's, talk about SCADA architecture, SCADA is a control system architecture, that uses computers, network data communications, and graphical user interfaces, for high-level process supervisory management, but uses other peripheral devices, such as programmable logic controllers, and discrete PID controllers, to interface to the process plant or machinery. Here, we have a control center, which we can see as a computer system, connected with the Ethernet port, and here, PLC is also connected with the Ethernet port. Now, this PLC is connected to various field instruments, this could be any, sensors or actuators, which may be analog, or digital. So computer have a SCADA software, which can interact with this field instruments by this communication networks, and thus computer is connected to various other PLCs, so this is the basic architecture of SCADA. Let's talk more about it. The two important elements, involved in modern SCADA system are, the RTU, and the central station computer. SCADA system starts, by communicating within real time with the controllers out in the field, that are running the actual process. Typically these will be the PLCs or RTUs. So, SCADA system will gather information, from these field controllers. SCADA system also will include at some sort of historian products, so that this real time process information can be tracked over the long term. It is going to access the data from PLCs, after collecting data, from PLC, it present on monitor, it looks like an animation. It is the virtual display. SCADA system have mainly four functions. Data acquisition. Data communication. Data presentation. Control. 
sensors either digital, or analog, and control relays, that directly interface with the managed system. The communications network, that connects the SCADA master unit to the RTUs, in the field remote telemetry units. These are small computerized units, deployed in the field at specific sites, and locations. RTUs, serve as local collection points for gathering reports from sensors, and delivering commands to control relays. With the advent of Windows, and high resolution graphics. SCADA has almost become synonymous with the HMI, even though behind the human-machine interface is the database. All you need are the system, or machinery which you want to monitor and control. From the very beginning, SCADA systems data was used in maintenance, and operations. An important part of most SCADA implementations is alarm handling. The system monitors, whether certain alarm conditions are satisfied, to determine, when an alarm event has occurred. Once an alarm event has been detected, one or more actions are taken, such as the activation of one or more alarm indicators, and perhaps the generation of email or text messages. Integrated into the data and graphical displays are alarm functions, that can raise and display alarms as they occur. On some systems, they can be tied into auto-paging and auto-phone dialing features, that will automatically notify operating personnel of a problem. So that management, or remote SCADA operators are informed. In many cases, a SCADA operator may have to acknowledge the alarm event, this may deactivate some alarm indicators, whereas, other indicators remain active, until the alarm conditions are cleared. Let's look at some, different industries that use a SCADA system. SCADA systems are used, to control, and monitor physical processes, examples of which are, transmission of electricity, transportation of gas and oil in pipelines, water distribution, traffic lights, and other systems, used as the basis of modern society. Here are just a few examples. SCADA system in the electric utility industry is the very foundation of smart grid and many infrastructure. At the generating station SCADA is playing a major role, to operate the input fuel flow rate to the turbine. At every time, the SCADA is monitoring the speed and frequency. Some of the important operations are doing power plant control and protection systems, electrical balance of plant, turbine, and generator components and communication system and networks. Power plant use SCADA system to detect current flow, and line voltage, monitor circuit breakers, and even take section of the power grid on and off. SCADA system in the food processing industry. You can see here this is the control lines and this is the virtual screen, where you can control the flow and level as well. The virtual screen is designed same as it is to control the process. Water and sewage utilities, monitor and regulate water flow reservoir levels, and, maintain specific levels in tanks, maintaining prescribed flow rates, and maintaining processes at specific temperatures and pressures. They can also execute, some form of Boolean logic, for automating the starting and stopping of pumps, opening and closing of valves, and other discrete functions. In chemical industry, from outside you can see tanks, and lots of pipes, and in the screen, you can visualize the same tanks and pipeline connections. So with the help of these SCADA system, you can easily control the level of the tank, flow of liquid, temperature and many more. 
All we see is happened on real time.